folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's tools, tips, and talk, where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. In today's episode, we're going to do mail call. All of this stuff, I'm going to show you guys what's come in, and we're going to talk about some future techniques and processes. Let's get right to it. So first off, um, I had uh, a fellow knife maker and viewer, Ryan, Ryan Chadbourne Knife Works sent me some uh, some stuff. Uh, first off is a, a piece of raw cherry burl. So very cool. Um, I'll have to find someone to stabilize this because I don't do any stabilizing on my own, but that's really cool. Um, also, he sent me a piece of, um, of this micarta. And uh, he showed me, he's got a block of this micarta that's this big by this big by about this tall. So uh, really cool and he's had it around for a while. So that. And uh, he also sent me, this is like press board that's been stabilized. I'm not so sure about this one, but we'll see. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll grind into it and see what it looks like in the middle. So thanks Ryan, I appreciate it. Next up, um, this back here. Some of you may know what this is just from the label. Uh, this is from GRS, and it is... Mm, if I can pick it up, it's really heavy. <laughs> Let me get the base here. This, folks, is a ball vise for doing engraving. Yes, I'll be starting some engraving projects. Um, so my engraver is still on the way, but I figured I'd show you guys the ball vise. I'll be doing some videos pretty soon on engraving basics as I learn it, show you guys, uh, because I want to be doing this on some knives and some fittings. So excited about this one, ball vise. Very cool and very heavy. <clears throat> Um, other things that I just ordered, everyone online is really raving about this Indasa Rhino Wet. And the only reason I haven't ever tried it is because, uh, and I've said it many times, I'm a big fan of sandpaper in these rolls. Well, I just found out that Indasa has Rhino Wet in rolls. So I ordered a bunch of these. They're actually not that much more expensive than the ones I already use. Uh, I think the ones I use are like $19. These are only $22. So I'm going to give this a try, see what all the hype is about. So I got three rolls of that. Also, I ordered some of this. This is Ultra Black 400 from, I forget the name of the company, EPI. This is a bluing salt, but this is for doing things black. So uh, I have an upcoming project that I'm going to talk about where I'm going to be doing jet black fittings. That's what this is going to be for. And I also ordered this cleaning solution. So you'll see this in an upcoming video of me trying to figure this out. Uh, as part of an order I got from Jantz, I, I don't know if it was a mistake or this is a promotional thing, but they sent me this cut and color bar. It's like this gray compound that's really hard and it's in like a like a caulking tube almost. I don't really know what to do with this. I've never seen it or um, and this is like three pounds. It's kind of heavy. Uh, so if you know what this is for, I mean I'm, I'm assuming it's some kind of polishing and buffing compound but I don't know. If you use this, give me a Give me a comment in the comments and let me know how you use this. They also sent me this uh, Satin Glow Greaseless Compound. And this says it's a 120 grit. And it's kind of spongy and soft. Um, and it says, you know, once you open it, it kind of dries out. So, you know, I haven't opened it yet. Same kind of thing. If you know what this is for and you use this, let me know. Like, I'm assuming it's some kind of compound, but I don't know if you put it on a buffing wheel, I'm not really sure what to do with this. But it was free. So, who knows, maybe I'll give it away to a Patreon, a, pa a Patreon member. This, lastly, 
This is something that um, I'm working with the company here, and I'm going to do a whole video on this one. And this is um, the X Tool D1, and this is a laser cutter. And um, they sent me this to evaluate and, and look at it, and I thought it would be really cool to um, cut out leather. It won't, it won't mark steel. It's not that powerful a laser. Those are thousands of dollars. This one I think is about 800. Um, but you can cut out paper and stickers and leather and uh, mark leather and all kinds of really cool things. Um, so I'll be using this. I may actually even, I've seen Blackbeard on a video, paint a piece of steel with some spray paint and then put it under one of these to, to laser etch the pattern just so he could cut it out, which I thought was cool. I'm not sure the setup is worth it, but we'll see. We'll give it a try. So I'm anxious to try this and see um, what I might use it for. Okay, so let's talk about projects. Um, I had some guys in, um, and I forget their names, I'll put them at the bottom, um, at Blade Show asked me, can you please make a push dagger? So the next build after the K-bars is going to be this push dagger. So, uh, and it's, of course it'll be Damascus. Um, so that's going to be the next project. Shouldn't be too difficult of a project, but that's coming up. After that is going to be a long one. Um, and this is what I'm going to be using the black, uh, the blue, the black, blackening salts, if you want to call them that. This is going to be kind of an elvish short sword. Um, I'm really, really thrilled with the design on this one. It will have some copper in it. Uh, it's also going to have, if things go right, it'll have some copper engraving and inlay on the fittings. So the pommel will have some copper um, uh, engraving and so will the guard. So I'm really excited to get into this guy. Uh, and this of course will be a multi-parter. It's a pretty big blade, um, but very excited. Maybe we'll get this one done before Christmas, we'll see. So that's what's coming up on the channel guys. Lots of fun stuff uh, coming up. Uh, also the next thing I want to talk about which is also going to take up probably most of the triple T's going forward is in January, second week of January or something like that, I will be going for my journeyman, my ABS journeyman test. That's the performance test for my journeyman rating. Uh, and uh, if you're not familiar with that, that's a whole bunch of tests that they do on a blade that you present, um, performance tests. And it starts by cutting a free hanging piece of one inch rope, one slice. Then you have to cut through a two by four, a piece of wood, a two by four twice. Shave with that knife after that, obviously without sharpening, shave with it. And then they'll put your knife in a vise, tip down and they'll bend it, or you will bend it, 90 degrees and it cannot break and core crack. So that's the test and that's the blade I'll be making um, in a couple of triple T's. And I'll be making a few of those so I can test one here uh, for you guys to see. And I'm also going to videotape the actual performance test. So stay tuned, guys. That's going to be a fun little series getting ready for the journeyman. And then, of course, after that, I'll be doing the five judging knives, the presentation knives for Blade Show in June. So Q1 next year. That's what I'll be doing. You'll be seeing me do a lot of mono steel knives in Q1. So thanks for joining me, folks, on this Triple T. Um, it was fun getting all this stuff in the mail. Now we got to put it to work. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.